Whoa, whoa, Will Smith just slapped the taste out of Chris Rock's mouth. Totally, totally unacceptable, Will. What's up, YouTube? It's me. All right. Here's your world. It's me. It's me. T-Belly here. Beautiful. What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, king of retro, gaming and lifestyle reporting from you live and direct like this video. I wasn't sure if I should make this video, but I have to make this video again. We are covering lifestyle. This is a big deal in, in pop culture. And the only reason I'm covering this today is because I want me and all of you to do better. We need to do better than this. This is unacceptable. Will Smith, successful person. Rich and successful. His wife also rich and successful. Chris Rock, rich and successful. These people are successful people, you know. But they also have their roles. Uh, Jada Pinkett's an actress slash producer. Will Smith is an actor, musician slash producer. Chris Rock is a actor, comedian. And Will Smith's also a comedian. used to be a comedian too. Right? I don't know if he ever did stand-up. But these are successful people. So what I'm getting at here is I'm not going to start. I'm not going to label Will Smith. You know, we're not going to get into the red pill, blue pill stuff, alphabet. We're not going to start labeling people. I'm not doing that. I'm not that kind of channel. But here's the problem with this situation, guys. If it was me or you, I highly suggest like you don't do that, man. Don't don't do that. Um, do you slap Chris Rock in Will Smith's shoes? I don't think you do that. Now, let's just say it was me and you in Will, Will Smith's shoes, right? Where a, somebody was on a stage at, at a, a gala. Let's just say a gala, something a little smaller. And they just, they, they joked on your wife, right? And you lied. You thought it was a funny joke, but your wife didn't like it. Well, you, you have two options here, man. You can go approach the situation like Will Smith, or you can just... Pull the person aside after and have them apologize. Like, hey, go apologize to my wife, man. She didn't like it. She has this condition. You know, you kind of went by. I don't know if you knew about it. But can you just apologize to my wife? And if he does not, then you slap the shit out of him. Then, then you slap him. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're going to get up on stage and, you know, and, and get all eyes on you, just let them know, hey, cut it out. Cut it out and that's it. One warning. Cut it out. There's no need for a second warning. One warning, and then if you got to slap the taste out of his mouth, you do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as it being, you know, scripted or planned, you know, fake, I don't know, man. I don't know because, you know, there was there was some curse words, man. There was some curse words thrown out there. Will Smith was dropping them F-bombs in front of everybody. This is the Oscars. This is live. You're not supposed to be talking like that, you know, so... With that said, man, I, oh, guys, this is, woof, this is a rough one, man, because I, I do respect the fact that Will Smith stood up for his wife. I mean, I would too, but he should have approached it more professionally. And there's also the situation where, you know, not to target Will, but this is the same person who was embarrassed and made fun of in the same shoes. Like, his wife pretty much showed no respect towards him. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. No respect towards his masculinity. You know, at the same time, you have to respect your woman as well. But I've never seen Will Smith disrespect his woman, his queen, in the public eye. Never seen it before, you know. But she, you know, he never disrespected her woman. I can't. I'm not sure of the word to use. I don't want to say feminism, but um, I guess her feminism or just her f her female nature. He's never like disrespected that, but she definitely disrespected his masculinity, and that is unfair. And it's it's for him and her to deal with. But in this situation, it's like the other time when your wife basically banged your kid's friend in your home while you're living in the, under that roof. You know, regardless if you guys are split up or not, that is totally unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? That is like legitimately unacceptable. 
And because I'm just thinking, like, imagine one of my friends banging my mom. Like, hell no, dude. Hell no. I won't kill him or nothing, but, yeah, you, you get out of here. You know, that's ridiculous. You know, I'm, oof, oof, man, that's, oh, man, that's, that's a whole other breed, man. You know, but just Will Smith just being constantly embarrassed, you know, and it's, everybody's making fun of him and laughing at him. It's like he's this great actor, phenomenal actor, one of the greatest I've ever seen in my life. Possibly in the history of acting, he might go down as one of the greatest ever. He should go down as one of the greatest ever. And he was just violated, man, and made fun of so much. And for him to just flip the script and all of a sudden become a macho man, it's like, dude, that is so out of pocket, dude. And I just feel like I only respect his defense of his wife. But I do not respect his actions, especially coming from his shoes. You're better than that, Will Smith. <clears throat> he won a freaking Oscar last night for the movie, uh, the movie where he plays the Williams sisters' father. You know, I, I still need to see that movie. I haven't watched it yet. And guys, you just have to do better. Better. Me and you can't do this, guys. I'm gonna tell you like this: men, women, young men, older women, trans, everybody, dude, do not do this, man. Do not make a fool of yourself. This can cost you your job. This can cost you dignity, respect. It can affect your family and your loved ones when you do things like this. They can do this because they're rich and successful. Their bag is not going to deplete because of this, you know? Um, if anything, their bags are going to increase. Everybody's talking about it. So if there's any, you know, any trademark in there on the Will Smith name, Chris Rock name, hey, they're getting revenue, man. They're getting revenue out of this stuff, you know? So if anything, their banking, their bank, their bag has increased. But me and you can't do this. And that's why I'm making this video. Never do nothing like this. Never. Make sure you always take a professional approach. Now, there's times you got to get your hands dirty. I mean, I, I'm a guy. Dude, I keep it real, man. I don't I don't BS, man. I, I, I'm a fun person, but I also don't BS. And hey, if I got to call you out, I call you out, man. I mean, I've literally had to curse people out on stream before. But look at the Amazing Lucas. Amazing Lucas calls people out on stream all the time. This guy's a successful channel. He can easily just press the block button, but nope, he attacks them. When they attack him, he snaps back, and then he blocks them. Badass, and he's successful. So you can't say he's doing the wrong thing. So there's nothing wrong with, with snapping back. There's nothing wrong with fighting back, putting your foot down, punching somebody in the face. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to have a professionalism in certain situations, and this is a situation where you cannot do that, man. I mean, I just hope anybody watching this never stoops that low, man. Never. I've been at a family event before. It was a, was it a wedding anniversary? It was a wedding anniversary. It was one of my aunts. And um, I was, we were waiting online for the bathroom. So I was waiting for the bathroom. I was like, I was next in line. So my son went and did something. My son was messing around. So I, my son was younger. So I, I left my spot. And I, I, was, I went to attend to my son. So the person left the bathroom. So I was just finishing with my son. And as I turned, some guy went in the bathroom. And I'm like, whoa, dude. I was standing here. And he saw I was standing there. You know? Then when the guy came out, I looked at him. And I saw the guy is not really a... You can see he's not really a tough guy. He had very, very uh, metrosexual energy. And I'm like, I could curse at this dude. And if he acts up, I can most likely knock his ass out, right? But I'm going to embarrass my grandmother, my mom and dad, and just my whole family. Even my son. My son might get scared. See, dad beating up somebody. At this point in my life, I had not knocked nobody out yet in front of my son. I did it before, but at this point in my life, it had not happened yet. And I'm like, you know what? It's not a big deal. You know, he looked at me. I looked at him like, you stupid ass. And that's it. The rest of the night was fine, dudes. No more. No problem needed. No drama. No big stupidness. You know? Because I'm not rich and successful. Now, maybe if I was rich and successful, I would have slapped him. Like, hey, what are you doing? Bam! I was waiting online. But even that, it's uncalled for. There's no need for that. And in this situation, never stoop to that level, people. Never stoop to that level. Will Smith's still a phenomenal actor. He's still the man. You know, you can't take that from him. But that was just not cool. And just don't, never, never do those type of actions. Because I tell you right now, there's a, there's a time and place for this. But when you're dealing with that type of stuff, 
celebrities, you you get joked on. They anytime there's some kind of award show, celebrities get joked on. Just take a joke. If you if you can't take a joke, you know, let them know. Hey man, I know you're hosting. Don't play with me. And that's it. That's it, man. It's that simple. But hey, they can do what they do. They're successful. They they got the money. But me and you can't. We and all of us people that make under 200k, let's behave like normal people. You know, we're not on that level. You just gotta be real. All the people over 200k, hey, knock yourself out, man. Get naked every morning. Who gives a fuck, right? <laughs> anyway, that's my thoughts on that, guys. Just had to cover that. Better human behavior. Do not do that type of stuff. Uncalled for, guys. But that's it for today. It's me, your guy, T Belly. Be safe, y'all. Elohim bless. And one love, y'all. I'm out. Cheers. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> Ha ha ha!